Well, <laughs> uh, you know, I, I'm really proud of our team to, to actually be in this position. Uh, being picked ninth in the league and having the opportunity to play in the championship game is uh, is something that, you know, doesn't come easy. Uh, it's taken a lot of work to our program to get to this point. And I'm really proud of the effort that we did. Um, hats off to Green Bay. They're an excellent team. They're an excellent program. Um, they have been for many years. Um, and I'm hoping that this loss helps propel us in the po you know, in our postseason now, but also coming in in the summer and coming into um, the season next year on how much better we have to improve if we want to be competing for a championship. Um, you know, obviously they're physically and mentally probably a little tougher than we are right now, and um, and hopefully this will fuel us with us only losing one senior. Um, but we're excited to have the opportunity to potentially play, you know, or actually to play in the WNIT since we'll be the automatic bid in that. Um, and so our season is not over. We're, we still have a lot that we want to accomplish. Uh, Coach, the team still came out strong, up 10-8 early. I guess what was it that, um, that Green Bay was doing to kind of shift the momentum? You know, uh, we are a dribble drive offensive team. It's been our mark this whole season. It's what we've uh, prepared for, what we've worked on. And... Uh, you can't beat Green Bay in the paint. You just can't. Um, you look at Oakland and how uh, Oakland beat them twice during the year, and that's because they have this fearless offense that they are willing to take catch and shoot threes. Um, and really, they move the ball around the perimeter very quickly. Um, I thought we got really stagnant after we got an early lead, and then I thought we got to a little bit too much one on one, um, which is stuff that we've done usually throughout the year. And so that we just reverted back to our kind of who we are. Um, and it's tough to ask a team to step outside of who, the, who they are, who they've been all season, and be somebody different for a championship game. Um, but I thought we got a little bit stagnant in our offense. Um, we also just didn't knock down shots. You know, Alexis Lundstrom is one of our best shooters. Um, she's been at the top of the league, and for the last couple weeks, she just hasn't been, her shot hasn't been on. She hasn't been the same type of player. We hit some of those shots when she comes in the game um, early. Maybe that puts a different spin on the basketball. Maybe they're playing a little bit tighter, um, putting us in a position where maybe we're competing down the stretch. I know she didn't have the best game today, but Jenny Linden made to the all tournament team. What did uh, she bring to the table this weekend? Well, she just brought toughness. You know, she's a competitor. She wants to win. Uh, I think she took it really hard in the locker room after the game because I think she wanted to do more for our team today than what she accomplished, um, which kind of what she did yesterday. Uh, but again, Green Bay, when you see somebody have 30 points, you're not going to let them. Uh, you're not going to let them take over. So they had a really good game plan for her. They doubled her. Um, they matched her physicality uh, in the paint, and um, and I'm hoping that she can use this momentum uh, at heading into the NIT, uh, and hopefully we can get some really good stretches out of her down the down down in this next tournament. And then, uh, obviously, it's, uh, not the end of the season. What? How excited is? How exciting is it to be headed to the postseason for the first time with you as the coach in Milwaukee? Well, I don't think I've had a chance to think about that excitement yet. I've been so focused on um, trying to get us to this position and also trying to win this game. Uh, I don't think our team is equally excited yet um, because we're just coming off of the loss. They're still thinking about things they could have done better um, to try to win a championship. They really wanted to win. Um, but I think tonight, after they have a really uh, a chance to really sit down and think about everything that we've accomplished this year, uh, I think that they will get in the right mindset that this is a huge step for our program, and it gives them a chance to feel what it's like to be in a postseason tournament. Uh, and again, hopefully that drives hunger and uh, a little bit more intensity going into the the postseason actual like player development side, and also the summer where we can improve our games. You clearly made a big jump. In, in the league, in spite of what happened today, do you think you've closed the gap on Green Bay at all? You know, I, again, I think Green Bay, a lot of people ask me since I've been, you know, in this position as, you know, do you have a chip on your shoulder with Green Bay being the, you know, the big dog in the state? And, you know, I have a lot of respect for Green Bay and I have a lot of respect for Kevin Borseth. I've seen him coach many years when I was at Wisconsin as a player, he was the head coach here at Green Bay. So I, I've seen how he works and how good of a coach he is. Um, we've been in some heavy recruiting battles with him, you know, these last few years, and we've gotten a few of those players. They've gotten a few of those players. Um, I don't have a chip on my shoulder, and I and I want them to be successful. I want us to try to match their success so that our conference can get better, so that we can have two teams potentially fighting for NCAA tournament bids. Um, that's what I would like. I would like to get it to where the gaps of the games are really close and people can see this rivalry, this in-state rivalry, as something special. 
Um, are we there yet? Not necessarily. I mean, we we three games this year, and we didn't you know we didn't compete with them. Um, but I'm hoping that we're there next year after only losing one senior. And now that our team has a feel for how to win and that want and that drive to win, um, I definitely think next year we'll even close the gap a little bit more. Anything else, guys? Thanks, coach. Thanks, guys. Thank you.